Ron. We're coming over right now. This time. Say hi to the camera, Ron. We're videotaping this for posterity. Yes, yes. All right, everybody, gather around. Billy, get up here. Okay. Oh boy. It's a little, uh, <laughs> little smaller crowd than normal, but I know you're all watching on the monitor somewhere. So uh, I will not hold this up. Ken, Thank you. here you go, sir. This is the first time we've been on stage together in 14 months, all of us. Amazing. It was. We won't go into the Wayback Machine yet. Um, I do want to say, and I'm no angel, but I will take a verse from the Bible and say, um, fear not. I bring good tidings of great comfort and joy. Uh, now I'll go on the Wayback Machine. A year ago, March 13th, we shut it. And uh, it was a horrible time. And we've all had to deal with some horrible things in that time. Uh, hopefully we're coming out of it. It looks as though we are. We sit here today and stand here today united, and that's a great thing. Uh, I just have to say that I've seen so much courage, more than ever before, and so much fortitude and so much dedication in all of you and all of us over these last 14 months. Certainly in a, in a period of time for five months when there was no days of our lives. However, the show kept going, but we were not here. Our head writer for the first time actually stopped writing. I know he's on the phone now, but... Yes, you stopped writing. <laughs> that had never happened before. Uh, and then in July, I sat with very, very courageous people, with Albert and with Janet and Randy and Mike Russell. And in my office, we were all six feet apart. And I said, OK, I think it's time to turn the engine on again. And there was a lot of trepidation, but we did. And we came back roaring in September. and. You know, Nina and all the people at Real Health have made it safe here. And it was proof. When we came back, it was proof that this could be done again and be done well again. And we never had to go into repeats because had we gone into repeats, Albert and Janet and I would have been going through the set with finger puppets going, today this is what happened. <laughs> but we didn't do that. <laughs> so lap dissolved sometime in October, November, we were looking at concluding the season 56 and that was pretty much going to be it. There was a lot of uncertainty and on Groundhog Day this year, uh, the sun came out and uh, things started to move in a really good forward direction. The show had been in production at that point in time for f almost five months. We had proven that we could do it uh, and NBC, thank God, stepped up and, and did the unimaginable for us in these past five, six years and in securing our future and gainful employment for the next two years. Now, you, you can hear. Yeah. That's because I got these now. <laughs> so, without further ado, I, I'd like Michael Sluchin to come up and please take the floor and give us the good news. There you go. Um, thank you. Thank you. Uh, this is so daunting to follow uh, Ken, who is so incredibly eloquent Always, in everything he yeah. just said. Um, so the pressure is really on. Um, and candidly, I always think most people don't want to hear from executives. So I'll try to make this very brief. I will try to make this very brief. But um, uh, you know, I actually started working on the show uh, on uh, February second um, on, on Groundhog's Day, and. Uh, even though I have a long career at NBC Universal, it's my first foray into daytime. And what became very clear from the outset is how much of a family this place really is. And, and I have to say, I have felt so extraordinarily welcomed by Ken uh, and, and Ron and Albert. You've just made me, again, you just, for a guy who's learning the ropes here, um, which feels weird to say at my age, but um, it really, uh, you've just been uh, amazing on every level. Um, an amazing, feels like an inelegant word, but um, I'm incredibly appreciative. Um, particularly this year, which we can all acknowledge has been um, uh, unparalleled. It has been so, so difficult. Um, 
and between tests and masks and face shields and and anxiety and life uh, and the fact that you've continued and made it look easy is um, an achievement and everyone at NBC is so incredibly grateful um, for your perseverance um, and your your kindness uh, throughout this entire process. Um, I, I haven't left my apartment much in the past year plus, um, but I thought this was uh, too big of a day uh, to not come out to Salem. Um, and it, so I'm thrilled on behalf of Susan Rovner and Lisa Katz, who are my bosses, to officially uh, pick up the show for seasons 57 and 58. Yeah. 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 and Michael have said just about this being a family, about all the hard work you have put into this. It's never easy to make television. This year has not been easy by any stretch of the imagination, but just the fact that we have aired originals seamlessly throughout the entire pandemic is incredible. And it's just a testament to the hard work you put into this. And also just knowing that this is a family and your fans around the world see Salem as their family. And during one of the most difficult years of anybody's life, this was a family when they couldn't see their own family. Oh. And you brought love and light and joy and tears and laughter into their lives. And we are just so excited that we can do this for so many more years to come. Thank you all. Thank you. Thank you.